All right, you guys, this is part two of Weeping Angels. So Willow finds herself in front of the mysterious young man that moved in downstairs, Mr. Michael, and she is embarrassed because she's wearing the same clothes that he saw her in the day before. And so she's a little bit frazzled and he looks at her and he just smiles and he's like, hi, um, I'm so sorry, is it too early? And so Willow's like, no, 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 it's, it's, it's not early. It's not, I'm, I'm sorry come on come on in come on in so she invites him in and so that's when Wynette is like Willow who is it and so Willow said mama it's the new neighbor and so Wynette's mom comes around the corner and he looks at her and he's like oh hi hi ma'am I'm so sorry it's early my name is Michael and so they shake hands and he's like oh my gosh she said looking at you I would have thought that you were one of the sisters you look way too young to be their mom and Wynette mama kind of blushes child Mm-hmm, girl, he, he another paw. <laughs> so anyway, I'm sorry to be bothering y'all early this morning, but I was wondering if I could borrow some coffee this morning. And why not? I was like, sure, you can have some coffee. Um, go ahead, baby. Um, go ahead and give this man some coffee. So Willow just runs off into the kitchen and go get some coffee, just some fresh ground coffee, y'all, for him. And so that's when the mom and um michael spark up a conversation and so he's like yeah i moved in a few days ago and you know just trying to make my way around the city and so the mom's like okay so are you around here that accent doesn't sound chicago he's like no ma'am i'm from texas originally she's like oh a southern boy he's like yes ma'am so give him the coffee and he's like okay well thank y'all so much it was nice to meet you and he makes his way off and that's when Wynette the mama turns around. She's like, so, now I see why you were having a hard time working yesterday. And Willow's like, what do you mean, mama? She's like, don't, don't, what do you mean, mama me? I just saw that boy. He's very handsome, Willow. And so, Willow's like, yeah, I guess. And so, um, Willow runs off to go get ready for the day and Wynette kind of smiles at her. Um, she likes to tease Willow, y'all, but she, she doesn't mean any harm. So Willow gets ready for the day. The mother continues to make breakfast and the twins come on, um, into the kitchen and they have their breakfast. Um, Violet is already gone, child. <laughs> she could be in school. She could be over her fiance's house. Who knows? The twins are eating their breakfast and they are getting ready for a competition soon because like i said they both sorry y'all they both play chess and they're very very good so they're playing chess at the table and why not the mother she's like now nah, twins i told y'all you can't be playing at the table if y'all want to go ahead and eat your breakfast and then you can play when you're done so the twins are like yes ma'am so they eat their eggs now they have their own chess tables but the girls don't play each other they play their themselves kind of weird but that's what they do they play themselves anyway um so that's what they do a little bit before they head off to school because the buses they gotta go you know catch the bus soon so anyway willow makes her way back she has her some some breakfast and she says bye to her mama and she goes ahead and head to the store um, to go to work. The daddy is already there. He opens up, he opens up the shop and Willow just comes in to work. So Willow goes down. She's going, walking down the brownstone and Michael is, uh, if, how do I explain this to you guys? As she's going down the brownstone, if you look, if she looks over to her love, she can see, cause he lives down. Okay. So she can see his door basically. You can, once you walk down the stairs to the brownstone, you, she can see his door down there cause it's, the way that it's mapped out. I know that's a horrible butchered um, description of it, but I hope you get the idea. So he's locking up his door and he's walking out. And so he's like, oh, hey, Willow, thank you again for the coffee. She's like, no problem. He's like, so where are you headed off to? She's like, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and walk to the shop. He said, well, you mind if I walk with you? Willow found that kind of odd. She hasn't had a, a boy walk with her since high school. She's like, well, yeah, I guess that's fine. So, like I said, you guys, Willow is average looking. She's not, you know, really, really beautiful. She's cute, but she's average looking, okay? So, typically when people meet the Flower Sisters, they automatically gravitate to Violet. So, she thinks that's kind of odd that he will want to walk her. But she just figures he's being nice, okay? So... They're walking and she's quiet. She's not saying anything. So he finally looks at her. He's like, are you always as quiet? And she's like, yeah, I am. He's like, so how long have your family on the shop here? 
And so Will's like, well, we've, she's like, well, we've had it now for going on six years now. He's like, oh, okay. Well, is that what you mostly do? And she kind of looks at him. She's like, well, yeah, you know, my parents needed extra help at the shop. So I figured, you know, I would help out. And so he's like, oh, that's cool. That's really nice to know that you, you know, are there to support your family. And so she looks at him. She's like, so what about you? You know, are you going to work right now? And he's like, yeah, um, actually, I'm going to go run a few errands before I, before I head off to work. And so Willow didn't know if she should ask more questions. He didn't anymore. She decided not to probe anymore because she's just not that type of person. So they end up getting to the shop fairly fast. You know, the shop is only like a good 10 minutes away. So when he turns around to Willow and basically like, he's like, um, is there a place around here where I can get like a nice, you know, hot breakfast. She's like, actually, if you walk about 400 feet up this way, you'll see a, a small diner and they make really, really good pancakes. He's like, oh, okay. He's like, well, thank you so much, Willow. And so that's when he, you know, shook her hand. But when he shook her hand, y'all, he kind of squeezed it. And she was like, okay. <laughs> so he's like, okay, well, I'll catch you later on, Willow. So she kind of watches him walk off towards the diner and she goes inside the shop and child, her daddy, <laughs> Her daddy turns around, he had a broom in his hand. And he was looking at her. He said, like, hmm, I saw you talking to that man, young man again. And she's like, daddy. He's like, so did he walk you all the way down here? She's like, yeah, I, I saw him coming out of his apartment and he just said, you know, he'll just walk me down here. Um, so he just kind of looked at her, y'all, and just continued to start um, sweeping up the floors. And so Willow starts working y'all and it's a busy day. The shop is typically busy. Again, it's one of the neighborhood shops and uh, she goes and do a quick lunch and she decides to go to that diner that she recommended to Michael. So she tells her father, Hey daddy, I'm going to go ahead and take my lunch right now. And he looks up at her from the cash, from the cash register. He's like, you don't want to eat lunch with me here. She's like, no daddy, I'm going to go, I'm going to go ahead and grab a sandwich down at um what can the diner be charmaine's let's just call it charmaine's i'm just gonna go grab a, a sandwich down at charmaine's and he gotta look at her oh okay then baby then uh be careful so willow goes down to the diner and it's busy because it's like what 12 30 1 o'clock it's still busy people are coming in and out and so she sits down so she sees one of the popular uh waiters david and he comes over because she's sitting at the booth or what do you call it? The counter. She's going to eat at the counter, right? And so David comes over. He's like, oh, hey, Willow. I haven't seen you in a while. She's like, hey, David. Um, Yeah, are there any special soups for the day? He's like, yeah, our potato cream soup. Um, that's, just, that's the special for the day. So that's what she orders. And so David comes over. He's like, hey, so I saw that guy um, that moved in below y'all came in this morning. And so Willow's like, yeah. He's like, yeah. He's like, he's an odd character. And so Willow looked at him. She's like, well, what makes you say that? He said, he sat in here for an hour, Willow, and just had two cups of coffee and read a newspaper and basically looked around the diner without eating. Willow thought that was kind of odd because he's purposely asked for a place to eat and ended up just staying there and, and reading. And so Willow was like, well, maybe he just wanted some coffee. He's like, yeah, Willow, but to stay in here for an hour, drinking two cups of coffee. <laughs> David's like, you just wasting space, man. You're wasting my time. So, and so David's like, well, he did tip him really good. So I can't complain about that. So Willow went ahead and, you know, her soup arrived. She ate her soup. And, you know, she was thinking about that. She's like, well, that's kind of odd. I wonder why he just came into the diner to order coffee when he came to their place for coffee. So anyway, Willow had her soup, like I said, and she went ahead and went back to the shop to help her father with the shop, right? So while she's there, um, Violet comes over and she got out of school a little bit early. So Willow looks at her and she notices something is off with Violet. And so Willow's like, Violet, what's wrong with you? Is everything okay? And so Violet's like, we had a fight. She said, like, what do you mean we, we had a, you, you had a fight? You and Gerald? 
She's like, yeah, Gerald and I had a fight. He just doesn't understand why I won't move in him now, will move in with him now. And I told him that mom and daddy wouldn't go for that, that we have to wait till we get married. And he just wants us to go ahead and be together now. And so Willow was like, look, Violet, you know well as I do that mama and daddy are not going to go for that. So Gerald just needs to be patient. Y'all are going to be married by the fall time, which is only y'all what? About four or five months away. Okay. So Violet's like, I know, I know. So what can I do to help out around here? She said, well, first off, what you can do is go change out of that nasty nurse's uniform because she had on her scrubs or whatever. She said, you can go change out of that. And Bill, she notices that Mrs. Mildred comes in. Now, y'all, again, Mildred is the uh, older Jewish lady who owns her and her husband on the brownstone that the bakers live in, right? So Mildred comes in. Mildred is all of 70 something years old. And she's like, well, hey, um, hey, Willow, how you doing? Willow's like, I'm doing good, Mrs. Uh, girl, name her Goldstein. I'm doing good, Mrs. Goldstein. You heard that the man moved in downstairs, right? And so Willow's like, yeah, I have. And so this is Mildred. She's like, well, I've been looking at my cards lately. I bought him and the cards don't make any sense. And so Willow's like, Mrs. Um, Goldstein, I know that's something that you, you, you know, really are into, but I don't really care to know. And that's when Mildred's like, no, no, you don't understand. The cards are always right for me. But for some reason, I can't read this guy. And that's really, really odd to me. And she's like, well, I don't know, Mrs. Goldstein. You know, maybe you should just try again. And Mildred looked at her and she's like, yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll just keep trying till the cards tell me. So Willow is like, this crazy old woman. So <laughs> she leaves. It's so... So Willow's like, um, I'll be right back. I, I got to run home for something. So Violet's like, where are you going? Hold on. So Willow ignored her, raced out the door, and she went back home, went up the brownstone, went all the way up y'all to the top floor, and she knocked on the door, opened it up, and there was Mrs. Goldstein. So Mildred looked at her, not even surprised, and she smiled, and she said, I've been expecting you. Come on in. All right, you guys, that's part two.